ആത്മിക് ബയോടെക് സൊല്യൂഷൻസ് പ്രൈവറ്റ് ലിമിറ്റഡ് എട്രാസ്ഫുൾ കമ്പാനിയൻ ടു റിയലൈസ് യുവർ റിസർച്ച് തോട്ട്സ് Today I am going to uh, present a thought point on polymerase chain reaction and this is one of the versatile technique which is used in all field of biology. Uh, today I am going to discuss some basic factors about polymerase reaction, how we can set a polymerase reaction, uh, what are the things required for a polymerase chain reaction. So, first of all, what is PCR? PCR is used for making billions of copies of a specific DNA sample in vitro. Uh, the machine used for doing PCR is called thermal cycling. What are the requirements for a uh, PCR reaction? Uh, first of all, the instrument thermal cycling, then template DNA, as I have mentioned. You have to isolate DNA from a particular uh, organism for your interest, uh, your target DNA, where you have to get this. Suppose you are going to amplify a gene from a particular bacteria, first you have to isolate the uh, DNA from that bacteria. So that bacterial genomic DNA is the template DNA for doing PCR. third one primers as you have already seen one forward and one reverse primer is required for doing a pcr and the fourth one is the enzyme tag polymerase this tag polymerase is taken from the organism thermus aquaticus it is a hot spring bacteria thermophilic bacteria seen in hot springs and uh, why we are taking this is because the enzyme is thermally stable that's why we are taking thermus aquaticus um, tag polymerase mg2 plus ion uh, is an essential ion for the uh, activity of tag polymerase that you have to supply another one is the buffer buffer ph is 8.3 in between 8.3 to 8.8 that is the optimum ph for doing uh, pcr reaction and dndps for dndps Uh, are there adenine thymine guanine and cytosine and uh, these you have to supply so these are the basic requirements for doing a pcr so what are the steps in a uh, pcr first of all denaturation of the double stranded dna second is annealing of the primer and the third step is the extension that is actually the dna synthesis step so first denaturation uh, in in a thermal cycler you have to set 92 to 95 degrees celsius around uh, 94 is the optimum uh, at 94 degrees celsius the double stranded dna will be uh, separated and two single stranded dna will be formed second step is primer annealing here the forward and reverse primers will go and bite to your template DNA as shown in the figure. So in between the forward and reverse primer is your gene of interest or uh, DNA of interest. So primers will go and bind to their complementary sequence on both strands as shown in this figure. Uh, here uh, primer annealing temperature varies based on the primer. Okay. so that uh, how to calculate that primer annealing temperature will be discussed in our previous presentation on uh, primer designing tools third one that is the extension step you can see as in figure to the end of the uh, forward and reverse primer tag polymerase start to add new uh, nucleotides thus one strand of dna is after uh, one cycle will be amplified into two likewise it, the amplification is going in an exponential rate 1 to 2 2 to 4 like that and for tag polymerase the temperature optimal temperature required is 72 degrees celsius regarding the synthesis speed 
so one minute time is required for one kilo base amplicon synthesis likewise you have to set your pcr site to suppose you are going to amplify a gene size of 2 kb you have to set 2 minute as an amplification time and this is an uh, example of uh, pcr program so there will be an initial denaturation step 95 degrees celsius for 5 minutes this time the dna will be uh, a single stranded and we will go into cyclic denaturation inside the cyclic uh, there will be a denaturation step then uh, third step is primer annealing and then extension that you have already seen and from step 2 to 4 will be repeated 35 times so each time the number of dna will be doubled and there will be a final extension time uh, 72 degrees celsius for 10 minutes and then 4 degrees celsius forever and this template can be utilized for uh, setting any pcr program using tag polymerase the only difference will come at the primer annealing step that is the third step that 55 degrees celsius will change based on your primer so suppose your primer has an average annealing temperature that forward and reverse primer has an average annealing temperature of 58 you have to change that 55 to 58 and also the extension step so uh, based on the amplicon size i have already told 1 kb 1 minute is the speed of uh, dna polymerase so here uh, it is only 45 seconds that means uh, the average amplicon size of this uh, pcr reaction may be around 750 bases suppose uh, you are going to amplify a 1 kb gene product you can change that 45 seconds to 1 minute uh, next is how we can troubleshoot suppose after pcr if you gel check agarose gel electrophoresis you have done uh, you got no product what may be the reasons first one is template dna quality the quality of the template dna is an essential criteria for doing pcr the purity of the pure dna has an uh, absorbance 260 by 280 ratio around 1.8 in between 1.6 and 2 we can take that template dna for doing pcr if it is below and above you have to do a purification step before doing pcr with that template dna or uh, you have to repeat the dna isolation once again Uh, second thing you have to check you try to reduce uh, your annealing temperature sometimes uh, it may be uh, due to your primer error uh, try with a new primer stop and try, uh, sometimes the tag polymerase activity may be lost the repeated freeze thaw cycles may cause uh, tag polymerase activity low so you have to uh, alkodes in minus 20 or minus 80 so uh, that will reduce the uh, repeated freeze thaw cycles so try with a new and same lot uh, sometimes you are uh, trying to amplify a 1 kb g from an organism instead of 1 kb you got some band around 500 or 750 that is what is called non specific pcr product in such case you have to reduce the magnesium ion concentration and increase the annealing temperature in the previous uh, if there is no product you have to reduce the annealing temperature here you have to increase if you got a non specific pcr product uh, you have to increase the annealing temperature and third one you have to reduce the number of cycles and try with a different enzyme load